Good morning. If you label someone a false teacher, it is generally assumed that the person is not a Christian. So please be very careful referring to anyone as a false teacher. For example, I am a Christian, a believer in the gospel of Jesus Christ, saved by grace through my faith in Him. I follow Christ. I've been given the Holy Spirit, as every Christian is given the Holy Spirit when we're saved. The Spirit within me has given me gifts, His power to fulfill the ministries God has assigned to me, just as every Christian has been given spiritual gifts that we are to exercise and express in the work of the ministry. So I have the spiritual gift of teaching, and as I submit myself to the Holy Spirit, and He works in me and through me, I gain understanding of scriptures and I prepare teachings. Then I present them with the hopes that the Holy Spirit will anoint them with His power so that what I teach is more than just information or knowledge. It becomes revelation, transformational, uh, revealing the truth about God uh, that strengthens people's faith in God. However, there have been times when I misspeak, when I don't say everything perfectly accurate. And the concern is that someone would hear me misspeak, identify it as error, and immediately label me a false teacher because I said something that was not accurate. However, I am a true teacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the scriptures. And when someone points out my misspeaking, or misinterpreting, I am willing to humbly pause and search the scriptures. I'm ready to repent, apologize, and correct what was said. God and His grace have gripped my heart and I want to do this. Uh, for me, it is evident that God has saved me and I should not be labeled a false teacher because I misspoke something or misinterpreted something from scripture. But sadly, there are those who are quick to label someone a false teacher. Uh, for example, I was doing a recent search about false teachers and I looked at a few articles on the internet. And this one man listed the names of prominent Christian teachers that he labeled false teachers. I'm sorry, but I was offended that he labeled Charles Stanley a false teacher. So when I listened to the brief statement Dr. Stanley had made in one of his sermons, I was actually comfortable with it. The man who labeled him was clearly not. And I thought to myself, have you met Charles Stanley? Have you heard his testimony of faith in Christ? Would you really survey the thousands of sermons he has preached over the decades and label him a false teacher and warn others not to listen to him? I would never do that, ever. I can't tell you how many times God has ministered truth to my heart as I'm driving along listening to the radio and hearing Dr. Stanley teach the scriptures. I don't exalt him above measure, and he's not infallible, so I understand how he may misspeak, how someone could peruse his sermons and find something they disagree with, but then to take that and label a brother in Christ a false teacher? I believe that's wrong on so many different levels. I find it hard to believe the man was encouraging people not to listen to Dr. Stanley. And that's the danger, a danger in the church of being so quick to judge someone without taking the time to learn about them. Now, so think about it. When Jude wrote his letter, he's warning about false teachers, and he's writing to the churches so that the leaders and members of those churches would be alert to anyone in their midst who was teaching. And they would make sure that they were truly Christians and that they were teaching things that aligned with the scriptures. Each congregation would monitor itself, and I believe that is the way that it should be done. 
The challenging part is that with the internet and having so many others who can speak to us and teach us, um, what do we do with them? Uh, if you doubt about someone, uh, what do you do? Um, I suggest going to their website, uh, reading their doctrinal statement, uh, finding out who they're accountable to, uh, what local church they're a part of, who's watching over them. You know, when Ravi Zacharias was exposed for his immorality, so many questions arose. Uh, how did he get away with it? Was he a false teacher or a true Christian who did not monitor his life well or wisely? Those are difficult questions. But I do know that when people in Ravi's ministry spoke up, they mentioned that they tried to hold him accountable for certain things, but he was not open to accountability. And in fact, he intimidated others so that they did not look into his personal affairs. That was to his loss and loss for many others. Uh, one lesson learned is this. Every believer, you, me, everyone, should be accountable to others. Everyone who teaches should be monitored by those close to them to assure that they're living lives of integrity, uh, practicing what they preach and teach, and they're humble-hearted and always open to correction. So the point I wanted to make today that I felt led by the Lord is to be careful labeling someone a false teacher. For if they're true Christians who just misspeak or they don't align with your particular interpretation of a scripture and you label them a false teacher, that's on you. It may actually be slander, which makes you guilty of sin. When Jude exposes the false teachers of his day, and he lists the characteristics of their attitudes and actions, uh, he describes them in verses 12 and 13 uh, with imagery that helps readers understand that they really are lost in sin. These false teachers are not saved. They have nothing from God to offer because they don't yet know God. They haven't experienced His grace, which comes through faith in Jesus Christ. So Jude will direct the church how to minister in this manner, and we'll cover that next week, Lord willing. So today, let's pray for godly Christian pastors and teachers that they will remain faithful to the Word of God and live lives of integrity before Him, being examples to the flock. We pray that the church will grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord as His Word is taught to us. We pray for ourselves this day that we will honor the Lord in all our ways. Let's pray. So Lord, we do pray that you will raise up godly pastors, teachers in your church, in the kingdom, who will rightly divide your word of truth. And Lord, we pray for correction for those who misspeak and for those who actually teach things that don't align with your scripture. For us, give us wisdom and discernment to know who we allow to speak into our lives, how to express cautions and concerns, and even protect us from slander and sinful judgment. So Lord, help us as we navigate through this and in all these matters. Lead us by your Spirit, and may we honor you with our words and ways. Yeah. And now offer your prayers. God bless you.